Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial of Mango Pay Payment Gateway for Magento 2 and uh, using this extension the Magento 2 store owner can provide his customers with the option to choose the Mango Pay Payment Gateway for purchasing the products within their Magento 2 web store. Apart from that this extension also enables the platform to accept multiple currencies and multiple payment methods online including cards and direct debit. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be going ahead and we'll be checking the admin backend configuration for this extension and the various options that the admin has within the backend uh, for managing this uh, extension. And after that, we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to place the orders using the Mango Pay Payment Gateway here on the web store front end. So let's get ahead and let's see what different configuration settings are there for this extension in the admin backend panel. So here I am uh, in the admin uh, backend panel and I'll be navigating uh, through stores configuration and on the configuration page I'll just uh, scroll down and I'll go to the sales section and under the sales section I'll click on the payment methods option that we have this link here and this would bring up all the payment methods that are there and here just scroll down uh, to the other payment method section here and here you can see the web cool mango pay payment gateway just click down and here you'll find all the options that are there for this extension so uh, let's uh, go ahead and let's see what different options are here uh, for the web cool mango pay payment gateway and we'll go through each of these options one by one so uh, the very first option that we have is the enable option and we have uh, a yes and no option for it selecting the yes would enable this extension uh, uh, for use at the checkout otherwise if you selected this as no then this extension won't be activated and won't be available for use at the checkout time after that we have the sandbox board now if you want your application to run in the testing environment then you can select this sandbox mode, mode as yes otherwise if you want this uh, to uh, work in the live or the production mode then you can select the sandbox mode as no so for the time being for this uh, session today uh, we'll set it as yes because this is the sandbox or the testing mode that we are using right now after that we have the title here uh, the admin can set the title which would be displayed to the customers at the checkout time under the payment methods so this title would be visible to the customers at that time so accordingly you can set the title as well after that you have to enter the client id and the passphrase now after you have registered yourself uh, at the mango pay uh, you'll be getting the client id and the passphrase now you'll be entering those values for the client id and the passphrase at the respective places here and after that you need to click the generate mango pay user to create an escrow wallet for the uh, user so uh, after that uh, we have the minimum order total now here uh, under the minimum order total the admin can set the minimum order total that is required for a transaction so this should be reached otherwise uh, the transaction won't be uh, processed after that we have the maximum order total now here the admin can set the maximum uh, order total that can be uh, used and uh, after that we have this set number of days after which the admin can release the hold amount now the main use of this field is for the online refund process that is if the customer wants to go for an online refund then he has only the set number of days uh, as we have set one so he has only the set number of days to go for the refund and after that he cannot go for the online refund so you can set the number of days up to which a customer can ask for a refund so uh, that was it about this option then we have the sort order here you can set the sort order uh, for the uh, payment method uh, and it uh, would display the uh, payment method accordingly uh, as per the sort order set here and lastly we have the option that is the new order status here you can set the status uh, of the new order that has been placed so if we have selected as processing then after placing the order by the customer the uh, order status for the order 
uh, for which we have used the mango payment gateway for that order the order status would be set as processing you can also set it as uh, per your requirement whatever you want you can also set it as pending or anything else so that was much about the uh, configuration settings of the webcool mango payment gateway in the admin backend panel and after you have entered your client ID and passphrase, when you click on the generate mango pay user, then uh, uh, what happens is that the uh, the mango pay ID and the wallet ID is being created for the ad. All right. So uh, that was it about the configuration settings. Uh, and uh, let me take you to the dashboard uh, panel once again. And let me show you what different uh, options does the admin get after the installation of the VIG tools uh, mango pay payment gateway so after the installation of this extension uh, you'll have this menu option on the left hand side on the side panel here web pool mango pay payment gateway and under that we have three options one is the manage bank details option the other one is the admin transaction and the last one is the hold in escrow now the very first option that we have manage bank details let me open that up for you now under this section uh, what actually happens is that like uh, for transferring the money from the wallet to the bank bank the admin needs to set the correct bank details of the administrator uh, uh, so as you can see here i've already uh, filled in the uh, details of the admin for his uh, bank account and after that i'll click the save information button so what actually uh, uh, the admin needs to do is he just needs to save his correct bank details under the uh, section that's the manage bank details after that we have the admin transaction uh, let me take you to the admin transaction section now uh, under the admin transaction section if the admin has some money in his wallet uh, then he can transfer this money from his wallet to his bank account by clicking the uh, button that's the transfer to bank uh, button that you can see here so here you can see that the mango pay wallet remaining amount is this much so the admin can transfer this to his bank account that is he has added under the manage bank details option okay so uh, admin can also see all the transaction in the form of a grid here all right so uh, that was about the admin transaction section and the last is the hold in escrow option and let me open that page for you as well and uh, under the uh, manage escrowed uh, amount uh, what the admin can do is admin can uh, navigate to this section so as to release the amount and the admin will be able to see the transactions with the release amount button as you can see here for each of the transaction there is a release amount button on the right hand side and there is also a transaction that does not have a release amount button but you can see that it has uh, the uh, note that says wait for the validation period now uh, for the transactions that have crossed the set validation period for example we had said the uh, validation period as one day so uh, we'll have the release amount button after a day only so for the uh, for the order id 195 because it has been placed uh, today only and we have said the uh, a validation period as one day so after the validation period expires only after that would the release amount button be visible for this uh, order as well and the admin can normally release the amount by clicking the release amount button here so uh, that was about the uh, manager scroll amount uh, section so uh, now I'll be taking you to the uh, web store front end and we'll be uh, placing an order using the uh, mango pay payment gateway and for that I'll take you to the front end now. So here I am at the uh, web store front end right now and uh, I've already added a product into the cart and that's the uh, decorative bottle. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be going ahead and uh, and I'll just scroll down and I'll select the shipping method for this uh, order and I'll click the next button after that and under the payment methods you can see the webcool mango pay payment method is visible here and the title that you had set in the admin backend configuration of this extension is also visible to the customers now uh, what the customer needs to do is he just needs to select this payment option that's the webcool mango pay payment method 
and after that he needs to now just uh, select the payment type to proceed so select the card type and after that you need to select the card type as visa master whatever it is you'll select that up and hit the place order button and now you'll be redirected uh, to a web page wherein you'll be able to enter the uh, details of your card and thereafter you can make payment for this order as well using the mango pay payment gateway so right now we are being right redirected to that uh, page and here we are on the page now and uh, we have to pay 34 us dollars so i'll as this is a, a, a demo and uh, we are using the uh, sandbox credentials so I'll be using the uh, demo card numbers for making this payment I'll set the expiry date for this card and the security code and I'll click on the validate button thereafter and here you can see that the payment uh, would go through very easily and after uh, the payment has completed we will be redirected back and by clicking the order number we can check our uh, order details so we are on the success page right now it says that thanks thank you for your purchase and here we can see uh, that uh, the decorated bottle is there and uh, the payment method that, that we had used is also visible here So uh, let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see uh, how the order details are visible to the admin and we'll also show you how the admin can make a refund to the customer once again. So uh, and one more thing that I just forgot to tell you is that after a successful checkout uh, the amount would be uh, the amount payouts to the mango pay escrows buyer wallet and if any are any error occurs during a transaction then the order would be created with the order status as pending payment otherwise the status would be processing so uh, now let's go to the admin backend and let's see what the order details uh, are there uh, for the admin to check here I am uh, and I'll be clicking on the sales and then orders and here you can see uh, the order number 270 is here and uh, the total uh, Grand total is 34 dollars and the status is showing as processing click the view button to check the order details of this uh, order and here under the information section you can check the uh, payment information for this placed order and that's the uh, mango pay payment method that the order was placed using the us dollars and you can also check the items that were ordered here and uh, to check the transaction details you can go to the transaction section and here you'll find the transaction uh, details and the transaction type was as the capture you can click on the transaction details to check all of the uh, transaction data that's there and uh, if there are any child transactions you can check them as well and for the complete transaction details you can check the section here as well the payment type uh, that was used execution type and the creation date and the currency the id and the other details are also visible uh the admin can also refund uh, make a refund uh, for the placed order and let me show you how this can be done and we'll be doing it for the same order that we have placed so i'll just go back i'll view uh, this uh, order once again so as to make a refund for this order and here I'll click on the credit memo button and on the uh, new credit memo uh, page I just need to scroll down to the end of the page and if I want to return it to the stock I can check that option as well and to refund this amount to the customer I just need to click to the refund to customers wallet button and you can see that the credit memo has been generated and uh, that was much about the uh, mango pay payment gateway for magento 2 hope it helped you out if you have any queries or suggestions regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise ticket at webcool.ubitest.com thanks for watching this video